Hello guys, welcome to this video uh, in which I'm going to be showing you some of the features of Google SketchUp as I put together a quick design for a PC case. Uh, so I can just show you here some of the objects I've already created. Here we've got the motherboard with the graphics card and CPU cooler and I've got a 2.5 inch hard disk and a 3.5 inch hard disk. So the only thing I've got left to make for my computer is the power supply. So I'll just select the rectangle tool from up there, create a rectangle doesn't matter what size because I'm going to go into the little toolbar on the bottom right here and type in the proper dimensions in millimeters and it will create the size automatically. Uh, the next thing I do is give some depth. So if I go up to the push pull tool on the toolbar, hover over the, the square, you can see it comes up with, with dotting, uh, dot markings on it. Click and drag upwards to the appropriate depth, which is 86 millimeters. I can't get it exactly just by dragging, so I'll go into the bar there and input 86 millimeters, and it will create that. And before, as you can see at the moment, each of these uh, sides and each of these lines is selectable on its own. Uh, I don't want that, so if I select the select tool up there, drag over all of the objects so they're all highlighted, go to the edit menu and select make group. I can now edit all of these as one entity. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go to the paint bucket. And I'll go to the color selector, select the color that I've used thus far for all the other components, and it will apply that color scheme to all the components there. So while we're here, we'll just have a look, I'll just spin around these components so you can see that they've all been colored the same, and the, the program is quite good, it will change the color to show perspective as we move around. So there's all the components that I need. What I'm going to do now is zoom out a little bit and also move down because I'm going to start to build my case chassis from the origin here. So we'll select a rectangle, click on the origin, drag outwards to create our case. It's about a reasonable size. And the next thing I'll do is start dragging these components in. So we'll go back to the select tool, we'll select the motherboard, click on the move tool, and drag it down into the case. So I'm towards the rear of the case, bit of space on the side. Uh, and we'll do the same for the three and a half inch hard disk. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the hard disk vertically. So we'll bring it down to the foreground here just to get some perspective. But I think what I'm going to do is click on the rotational tool. And what this will allow me to do is rotate in any of the three dimensions uh, by hovering over one of the side panels. So on the side, on the top there, it will be turning one way, on the side panel it will turn another way, and on this edge it will allow me to turn in that dimension. So turn it by 90 degrees, and while we're here, we'll turn by 90 degrees this way. And then I'll select the tool again, select the move tool, and we can move it into the case. Oops, it's the rotational tool again for some reason. So do that. Move it into the case. Not sure why won't let me move upwards there. Fortunately it's a case of SketchUp thinking and knows what's best for you. Okay. Move it into the case. Just move back around so we can get our perspective. And okay, let's move the power supply now. Go into the case there, and we'll grab our two and a half inch drive. We'll just put it on the base there. So there's all our components in the case. I know the perspective is not exactly right, and obviously this wouldn't be a very good case design, but this is just a demo. So what I'm going to do now is select the base of the case and use the push pull tool to pull it up to the point where all the components are covered. So there we go, that'll do. Release that, and while I'm here, I'll fill that. Now what I'm going to do here is select a different type of, I say metals, there we go, different type of finish for the um, the fill-in tool. Uh, not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, but I do know I'm going to make it out of MDF. And I know that I'm not going to cover it in vinyl, so let's just finish marking these off. There we go. 
And what I'm going to do now is I want to have some windows in this case, and obviously I'm going to need some space on the back as well to allow access to the power supply and motherboard. So I'm going to close the color window there, create a new rectangle on the, on the surface here. And then I'm going to fill that, but I'm going to edit the fill and make it 100% transparent. Oops, that's edited the fill for the whole case. Let's put that back to 100. Select the right rectangle, do it again. Nope, still not having it. Why is it doing that? Make it a different colour. So that's that one done. And now we will pan around to the back because I know I'm going to need to make some spaces. The easy thing to do is get a bit of perspective there. Create a rectangle on that face. And we will fill that transparent. We'll also need a small for the graphics card there. And we'll need an opening for the power supply at the back, so ventilation and for the power cable. And now, if I pan down, those should more or less line up. Yeah, more or less. Again, only a quick walkthrough, but there you have it. You can see how you can create quick and easy different designs uh, using Google SketchUp. Uh, you can, you know, the push pull tool is fantastic. Uh, being able to have a look on all sides and having the the colours change is great. Um, and you would obviously take this a lot further to a finished design. But uh, I think that's a good enough walkthrough. Thanks for watching, guys.